what's up welcome back to our channel if you're new here i'm sarah sutton i'm an author of five young adult romance books my latest one is called two kinds of us and we're celebrating release week of that book it is opposites attract hidden identities has musicians coffee shops swoon the links to order it are down below and really make my day if you guys wanted to read it Welcome back to my channel. Now the layout's different. I'm like right in front of our like coat collection. <laughs> uh, we don't have a coat closet so we just hang them up all on these hooks. So I'm right in front of it. The lighting is... I don't know. Um, but I'm here because it's hot outside and I didn't really feel like turning off my air conditioner so I just decided to do it in my kitchen today. Yeah. Um, so today is going to be the cost analysis of Two Kinds of Us, as well as I pre-order costs. Actually, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I, I did the cost analysis, and I feel like it just gets kind of repetitive because it's all the same things, and they're relatively around the same cost. So I feel like I really wanted to do something different this time and add in the pre-order goodies cost because this was the most pre-orders that I've done, most pre-order goodies that I've done. I haven't done this many goodies before, so I feel like I wanted to try it out. I'm just gonna hop into the video since this is the last day of release week. Thank you guys so much for celebrating it with me and pre-ordering the book and leaving your reviews and posting your pictures. It really makes my day. Uh, and I'm excited to have somebody to celebrate this with. So thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting, for liking all the videos, and for following along on this journey. It was such a great, great week. Should I take my hair down? I don't know. I feel like ponytails just don't look that great. Math. It's not my strong suit. So if any of these numbers are wrong, don't come at me, okay? This is at least a rough estimate. So let's start off with how much the cost analysis was for publishing this book. Now, I say this every time. Um, please, please, please remember that everybody's cost setup is going to look different. Some people will decide more editing is worth it. Some people will decide less editing is worth it. Some people will find awesome cover designers who aren't very expensive. Some people will find awesome cover designers who pay a charge a little bit more. It is very up to you how you want to spend. It is personal. It really depends on people's um, life, you know, financial life. So um, this is what I feel comfortable spending. And yeah. Yeah. Now that we have the disclaimer <laughs> out of the way. Um, let's start up with the easy stuff. So Ingram Spark. Ingram Spark, the free setup I had because, um, then was it? Nano? There was a code I found and it gave me a free setup. I don't know if it's still active. Um, but I did have to pay $25 for revisions because I didn't have a code anymore. But I did have to pay $25 for revisions for that book once. I try and hold off as long as possible to do the revisions, the last minute revisions. Um, so I will order a proof copy that isn't revised and then just wait until the very last second and then, you know what I'm saying? That way I don't have to spend $25 every single freaking time. <laughs> um, the IBSN, uh, I had to pay $59 and that's because I used two. I recommend buying your ISBNs in bulk. It's more expensive to do that, but buying it in bulk is much cheaper in the long run. This time I bought 10 ISBNs. I can't remember what that was, how much that was. So I guess I could just do 29.50 times 10. $295. Whew. Um, next time, I, I'm actually officially out of ISBNs. So I don't know if I'm going to do the 10 one next time or the 100 one next time. Keep an eye out for that. So, so far this was $59. Not that bad. And then the other costs that can be taken or left, um, some people will recommend I don't include this cost. But I do like to include the cost because I really do like the fact that we get to see that number diminish every time. For King Catch a Breath, Vellum technically cost $62.49, but this time it only cost me $49.99. It was a one-time fee of $249.99, but as I keep using it, the cost does go, like, it's well worth it in the long run. And aside from the formatting service that I now offer for clients, so Vellum is technically a wash by now, but I do like to include it because I like to see that number kind of diminish over time. And I like to share how that number is diminishing over time so that you guys can see that investments really do pay off. Now onto our last two things for the cost analysis, the last two big budget things. We have the cover and editing. So my cover kind of varies every single time I've noticed. Uh, last time my cover was $96. I don't 
really know why, but this time it was 125. I don't know why it varies, but I'm okay with it. Um, 125 is pretty cheap for a book cover, and I love this book cover, so I'm, I'm happy with that price. 125. Yeah, I use Designed with Grace. Megan is amazing. She's designed all of the books in the series except for Water Friends 4, and I absolutely adore every single one of them, so <gasps> it's beautiful. And then we have the last one is editing. So I use Readsy to edit. Um, I have a code down below if you guys want to sign up for Readsy. If you sign up, you get a $25 credit on your account and you get to spend it on your services that you need, which is awesome, I think. But yeah, I use Readsy for my edit to find my editor and I spent $880 on that editor, which is cheaper than it was last time. Last time was just over a thousand for editing. So um, I found an awesome editor this time that was a little bit less money and I loved that. So yeah. And if we did that all totaled up, that would come to $1,089 without vellum. And if you did add that vellum cost, it would be $1,138.99 to publish this Book. that's cool I, I like I, I think that's a good number let's take that number let's take one one three eight ninety nine and divide it by let's say 250 potentially that's like the number of books how much like I can earn on a book royalty so that would have to be 455 books sold to make back the money which I think is not too terrible I think in the lifetime of this book it will be okay i think i'm already past 100 copies sold and then if we, if when i turn it into audio if that helps signed copies also help i get more of a royalty on signed copies than i do on ebooks and in paperbacks that are sold through amazon and barnes and noble yeah so i'd have to sell 455 books to uh break even you know it'd be an awesome thing if i could look up and see if i how close I am to breaking even on Can't Catch My Breath. Okay, I'll insert that at the end of this video if you guys can keep watching and see if I broke, if I'm close to breaking even on Can't Catch My Breath. Now, let's go over the pre-order goodies cost. I actually did quite a few pre-order goodies this time, so I was really excited about that. And I'm, a, I'm terrible at not looking at the costs until after it's all said and done. Um, so I was just buying stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be cute. This would be cute. This would be cute. And I'm like, shoot. Okay, wait, hang on, Sarah. Hang on. Because, uh, we might be not breaking even, but I'm pleased to tell you that we did. I got guitar picks. If you guys didn't see that, I did get guitar picks. I don't have any close to me or else I'd show you. And they say Team Harry on them. And I used one of my hole punchers to punch into the bookmarks and like looped it through with some embroidery floss. And it looks so good. I, I am happy with how it turned out. Um, but the guitar picks cost $45 and I got 55 guitar picks. So if we were to take that number and divide it up, it would be 81 cents per guitar pick like I said I think math is not my strong suit okay <laughs> I, I think that's correct if it's not that's okay and so the next thing I got was untapped potential stickers um they're just little stickers that said that had an untapped potential logo on them these ones are going to cost a bit more because I grouped together the um graphic design as well as the sticker production this with the graphic design and stickers it was 112 I think the graphic design was $70 one of those fun things you know I probably didn't have to do it but I was just really really wanting to so I did and to divide that out by 50 and it was $2.24 uh, cents her sticker that's an expensive sticker <laughs> it's okay it's okay I don't regret it I don't regret anything that I did to be honest and there was 20 stickers that I got off of Redbubble so I got ones of my book spines and I got one that said Team Harry not everyone got to get one of those stickers unfortunately because I only bought 20 because I thought I would only need 20 and then I ended up needing 27 so didn't didn't have enough um but ordered 20 and I the Redbubble invoice said it was 21.50 so that comes out to $1.08 per Redbubble sticker. Um, and I have a leave a review card that I'm going to use for all of my books, not just Two Kinds of Us. Um, but I bought it to start using for Two Kinds of Us. Um, it just says, like, don't forget to leave a review. And I, I hope it can encourage people that reviews are very important, you know. So I ordered 100 of those and it was $38.05 
totaling out to 38 cents per card. So bookmarks. Uh, I ordered 50 bookmarks and it cost $22.77, totaling out to 45 cents uh, per bookmark. And here we go. Here's the kicker. Are we ready? Ingram Spark. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh, the majority of the Ingram Spark cost actually was from shipping and handling. Freight was $62. So, the whole freight part of it um, kind of is a massive part. Uh, but I ordered 40 books from Ingram Spark and it cost me $334.98, totaling out to $8.37 her book. If it was just the books, it would have been $2.72, which would have been nicer, but then they have to add $64, $62 for freight. However, if we add all of that up, it totals out to being um, $13.33 per signed copy, and I charge um, $15 for a signed copy as well as $2.89 per uh, shipping, for shipping. Um, however, that shipping was not enough to cover the cost of shipping for this book. Um, my other books have been under a pound, but for but Two Kinds of Us was over a pound. So the shipping upped to $3.45. So I took a bit of a hit for not charging the correct amount of shipping. Um, not that big of a hit because only like, that's not even a dollar difference. But that was kind of a bummer when I realized... I wasn't charging enough for shipping, um, but I think it's okay in the long run because I ended up charging $15 and then $2.89 for shipping, which totals out to $17.89 per book. Um, depending on what state you live in, you might have been charged a state tax. So we take $17.89 minus uh, $13.33. That leaves me with a $4.56 profit. I think. I definitely broke even on that. And uh, honestly, I was really excited because I was afraid that with all the incentive goodies that I got, I was afraid that, uh, I, you know, I was afraid. Um, I do want to say there was a few things I didn't include in this. There was a playlist um, that I didn't include because I already had the paper and I already had the printer ink. So I didn't know really how to cost that out. Um, so I made a playlist for the book. Um, I spelled the freaking, I spelled Ariana Grande's name wrong both times. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> uh, and then I had um, a Love and Vincent County sticker that I had the sticker paper. I printed those out myself. What else? Did I have anything else? I can't remember. I had a Crushed Beans sticker, but I ordered that a long time ago and I could not find the invoice in my email. So that one was cheap too. But yeah, so relatively... That was our number. That was our cost. So overall, spent one thousand one hundred thirty-eight dollars on um, the book, including vellum. If you didn't include vellum, it was one thousand eighty-nine dollars. And then, if you total out the pre-order goodies, I made four dollars and fifty-six cents per book because I spent thirteen dollars and thirty-three cents per book. Let's let's total it out. How much did I spend? before I do it per book. Yeah, so before uh, totaling out it out per book, I spent $574.30 on the pre-order goodies, which sounds insane, but I ended up making a profit out of it, so that's okay, that's great. It was definitely a time and a half planning out this pre-order um, and this book release. This pre-order was the biggest one that I've had yet. I, I don't really know how many I had in the past. I don't know if I would ever do a pre-order again. It is really stressful to have people paying you for a product that you don't have yet. And I had promised to ship uh, Two Kinds of Us out on June 1st, but I didn't get my books until June 3rd. Um, and that was, and I shipped them out the same day. I, I hurried and signed them all and I shipped them out on June 3rd. So I think June 3rd. But I was supposed to get them on June 1st. They didn't come. I was very, very stressed. And so I don't know if I would do it again. I don't know if I would just like, like open up signed copy orders after release day. I don't know what I would do. I don't know. But, because then again, buying too much stock and not selling it all, that sucks too. Um, I have it with me with the can't catch my breaths. So I don't really know how I would do that in the future, but it, this was a fun pre-order and getting all the goodies together and celebrating with the guitar picks and the stickers, you know, that was really cool. I haven't done the guitar picks in the past. I don't think I've done stickers in the past either. Just a lot of fun goodies this time. And the char character art. 
character art was was uh pretty cheap ah fudge nugs fudge i don't even know where i, I got them from shutterfly but i got them months ago i had a coupon there we go authorized payment to shutterfly 24 dollars and 70 cents divided by 200 and something i ordered 240 so it was 24 dollars and 50 cents right did i say so do that 70 cents do that math my freaking camera cut me off. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not going to add the character art because I'm too lazy to. But it was $24.70 for 240 uh, character art sheets. So, I ordered the, both of the both of the two kinds of us character art. As well as a restock of the Sophia Walsh, Remy, and Elijah one. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep watching. You guys can see if I broke even on Can't Catch a Breath or not. Or how close I am, I should say. Okay, so uh, I did all the math numbers and stuff. So including Kindle, Dra Draft and Digital. Oh, I forgot Ingram Spark, but uh, including ACX and uh, my signed copies, I have broken even on Can't Catch My Breath. So that is a good feeling. So the cost for Can't Catch My Breath was one thousand four hundred forty-six dollars and fifty-five cents. Uh, and yeah, we have we have profited. Woo! Oh, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Yay! Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of five young adult romance books. Thank you guys for celebrating release week with me. This is the last video of release week, so it's been a great week. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love release week every single time. It's so much fun, and this time it kind of went by really smoothly, so thank you guys for celebrating and joining me on this journey. And thank you to everybody who has read Two Kinds of Us, who has ordered Two Kinds of Us, who has reviewed Two Kinds of Us. Uh, you guys rock. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget we have a live stream on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. My channel. It's gonna be fun. Come join us. Bye, guys. Uh, hi, guys. I'm Sarah Sutton. No, oh, here. It's on the right intro. If you're new here, I know. Wait, what is the intro? Hi, guys. What's up? Welcome back to it. There we go. <laughs> Should I do it? Actually, uh -huh. We'll figure that out in a second. Okay, so I did the math. Um, oh, I didn't do this math. Hang on. I thought I was done with math. I hate math so much. Okay. Thank you guys for enjoying. No. Yes, it's the last. Oh my gosh. Fudge. Fudge, 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 fudge. Fudge, 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 fudge.